I hate when I cry because <laughs> my eyes get so red. I am so grateful that there are people on here who genuinely want to hear me. Where the heck have I been? Oh boy. Where do we begin? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I want to do is inspire the event designer in you. Alright, so I want to get into this video not because it's for the views or vanity metric, but just to give you guys a life update. And we're going to take it back in December. December 2020 was an extremely hard year. I always say to people who like DM me around that time when I was really not feeling it at all was that I think 2020 had side effects <laughs> and December 2020 was like where I was getting the side effects of continuously working and nonstop and to the point where I was burnt out. I was completely checked out. I didn't upload videos. I mean, I did a New Year's Eve balloon garland, but it just wasn't fueling my soul. Just to give you guys a little snapshot of what actually happened, I actually lost one of our kings of our family, um, my uncle, who was really like a dad figure to me and his funeral was the day after Christmas so the times that we were trying to celebrate and make the most of it we had to attend a funeral right the next day just know that when your mental capacity can no longer take it more than likely life will just continue going down this spiraling event so I knew I had to kind of just like take a break from everything and everyone and just refocus rejuvenate and refresh and relax all in the month of 2020 which is why there was a lot of absences around that time if you do follow my channel also to give you some insight i was going through financial difficulties christmas was so expensive my business wasn't moving at all i would only had one client and or one paying client that is and it was just like when I tell you, it wasn't worst case scenario because things can always be worse. But let me tell you, it was just down after going down, continuing going down, down, down. Then we hit January <laughs> and I was just like, I'm not going to make New Year's Eve goals because one, I didn't accomplish pretty much anything. I only accomplished one thing on my vision board and my vision board, I always usually accomplish probably like 70% of the things because I look at it every day, make steps towards it and really make it happen. Well, 2020 kind of shut that down and I wasn't able to do a lot of the things I had set for. Part of which I had to spend my first year of marriage and my honeymoon quarantine and I wanted to go to Greece, you know, for the first time ever. And like I said, 2020 can kick, can kick ass. <laughs> That's how I feel. With everything that I had been going through, so I was just like, you know what, Justine, we need to make a change. We need to figure out how we can still strive towards our vision goals, our goals for 2020, and it doesn't matter, 2020 is in the past now, what are we gonna do about 2021? And that's when I created a new subscriber video because I realized I wasn't living true to who I am as a person on this channel. A lot of you guys know I used to be a former teacher in the classroom and teaching is one of the three pillars that I live through life. Okay, the other, so it's teaching, inspiring, and creating those are the three things that i currently love to do and i live in my purpose when i'm doing them so i said to myself self justine we're not going to make any goals for this instead we're going to live by three mantras and that is perseverance discipline present and those are the three things that i have constantly chosen to really incorporate in everything that i want to do things get hard I know I have to work on discipline. I have to stay disciplined with it. That builds consistency. That builds mental motivation. Because eventually those things will run out. But as long as you're disciplined, it, be, it you just push through. You'll never want to do the things you don't want to do. But you have to do the things that you don't want to do. Especially when it comes to running a business. So perseverance. When life hits you and smacks you upside your head. Which I'm about to tell you in a second. 
do you constantly push through and push forward and continuing towards what you want to accomplish and then being present you know i am such a visionary and i always think of the future and this and we gotta do this and th enjoy the moment be present be here so those are my three mantras. If you have three mantras that you want to tell me, let me know down in the comments below because I feel like we should get away from New Year's Eve goals because they suck. <laughs> and we should really dive into what do we want to do every single day that's going to get us closer to the overall thing that we want to accomplish. Hopefully you're watching this because you want to run an event business. So I decided... My Inspiring Designs was built on creativity and how-to tutorials. That's how a lot of you guys have found me from um, videos that have literally taken off and really made my channel for what it is. However, when you're not living in your true essence of where you want to be, it gets harder to sustain what you were known for before. So I am true to who I am, and this can be possible for you guys. As you guys are tackling on your event business, your business will evolve with you. The direction of your business will evolve. So when I started My Inspiring Designs, if you go all the way down, it was vlog. It was more like vlogging, and then I realized that wasn't getting me anywhere, right? So then I started doing regular designs, and then I started doing party designs, right? So you guys, some of you have been with me from my first thousand or first hundred subscribers all the way to where I am now, and now I'm evolving again. I'm doing more of the business side of event business because it's where I want to be. It's where I have a true passion for right now and I want to help people because these are the questions that I get constantly asked in my DMs on Instagram, my DMs on Facebook, in my Facebook group, like and even in my coaching program. Like there's a lot of questions that comes on when it comes to running a business. So I want to build a channel that's like that. After deciding that, I created the new subscriber video where I can now reintroduce my channel to people, new people who are subscribing. And then I created all of these, you know, ideas, 52 ideas for one per week when it came to my videos, right? Well, what happened in January? Oh, well, I'm gonna tell you, because it didn't go as planned. At the same time of me deciding where I want to take my inspiring designs, I was like, I'm tired of playing victim in my own business. I sit here and preach to people, talk about what you offer, talk about your business, and I wasn't doing the same. So I talked about my business and I had the best financial month in my entire business when it came to my coaching side. And to be honest, I think I out beat my own design side because of the designers that did join my one-on-one -on -one coaching. So I felt like boom, boom, like I had muscles. I was like, I booked four clients in two weeks and I'm helping them really ramp up their coaching, you know, coaching them through their event business. And then I got another two following that and then more people are more in interested in it. It is an investment, but they're willing to invest in themselves in their business and that's what makes it so worthwhile. I get to watch their ideas and expansion of their business evolve as every single week we dive into more. So there's a lot of gems that go on in my coaching program. So let's go back to January 2021, right? I decided to do the coaching. I had designers I was coaching. I was about to make my YouTube videos and I made my first one, okay? And then I was like, you know what? I deserve, my birthday was January 21st. I'm 30, about to be 34 years old. I want to do something I put on my vision board. And part of that was going to a cabin in the mountains. Well, this is why I'm not an event planner because that thing took two weeks to plan and book. <laughs> When you go with a group of people outside of like me, <laughs> it's always so difficult to plan. So I had a hard time because we had to accommodate a lot of things. And there was a certain, I had a certain vision of what I wanted my cabin to be. I wanted to see beautiful mountains in the backyard. I wanted to be around people. I did not want to be in a forest isolated. That's just not me because I'm from New York City and we're used to being on top of each other. So it was a lot. And I was just like, I was giving up. I was like, here we go again. Like something else that's going wrong. So then I remember my three mantras, right? Perseverance when things get hard. So I persevered and boom, 
we got the cabin. I was so excited. We ended up going to, what was the name of that place? What the heck was that name? Let me see. Let me see the location. Hiawassee. Hiawassee, Georgia. So I was having the best time with my business. My business was booming. I was, I was accomplishing my vision board. And then I get COVID. <sighs> I'm getting goosebumps. And I told myself I'm not going to cry. I wasn't. Okay, let me just to put into perspective. It wasn't the worst case scenario. In fact, I was truly blessed that all I got was a little sore throat and I lost some of my taste buds. Well, not some, I lost all of them, which got me depressed because I love food, like, hello. However, I was like, I went all year. <laughs> I went all year and didn't catch this virus. And the moment I'm having the best month of my entire life, literally my entire life i get the worst case scenario in the sense of catching a virus that i was trying to avoid now it wasn't worst case again i wasn't hospitalized but in the moment you couldn't tell me nothing so i ended up telling one of my coaches about what's been going on and she recommended this book called the big leap by gay hendrix just like you guys how i'm always telling you to invest 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 in yourselves if you don't invest in my program that's fine but you want to make sure you're getting someone who's going to help you because the faster you get your results, the more motivated you'll continue to grow. But the less you invest in yourself, the harder it is will be to grow. So she told me and recommended this book and she was just like, trust me, you're going to want to read it. And I said, OK, let's let's see what it is all about. And boy, was she right. <laughs> this book literally i know they talk about like in the spiritual world like the third eye opening up like i became so conscious of the world around me and what was happening to my designer so i'm not going to give a summary of the book because i'm not fully 100 percent finished however i will give you a little quote why it is relevant to having the best time and best month in my entire life you know outside of getting married or you know other things but just business wise it's the best month ever and then all of a sudden I guess kind of like like how can this happen when I'm having the best month so let me read you something real quick while we understand ourselves in business when we're feeling good we may come against the hidden barrier of an old belief such as, I must not feel good because fundamentally flawed people like me don't deserve it. When the old belief clashes with the positive feelings you're enjoying, one of them has to win. If the old belief wins, you turn down the volume of positive feeling. If the good feeling wins, congratulations. Your practice in expanding your capacity for positive energy is paying off. When you guys hit a, a challenge right when you're starting to change who you are things will happen in your life that are like how can this be happening when i'm having the best moment of my entire life then all of a sudden things start crashing down before me it's because you're hitting your upper limit so where you are is your zone of excellence it's right here right and as you're continuously to transcend and move up you are hitting that glass ceiling okay and you have to constantly persevere and head through because there's growth there in your zone of genius we'll talk about how you'll end up creating your own reality because you're in your purpose you're in the driving force of where you're supposed to be i can't explain it i just know i'll make a whole different video it's so much that goes into this video and i don't want to bore you with it right now because this is a real update to conclude this video, you guys have watched the title, so you know I cannot forget about our huge milestone that we hit here on my channel. We have hit 10,000 subscribers. I cannot, I cannot tell you how grateful I am. No, I'm not going to cry. I said I wasn't. This... Okay, I hate when I cry because <laughs> my eyes get so red. I am so grateful that there are people on here who genuinely want to hear me. 
you know, when I first started my channel, <laughs> to see one view on my video, to see one like on my video, like, it was disheartening, but I knew there was something more. I knew there was something more to give to the world. And I used to tell my family, I used to tell them all the time, like, I'm gonna be famous, but it's not even about fame for me or getting in, you know, the vanity metrics. It's to know that I've helped people, you know, and people are interested in seeing me and hearing from me. So I'm truly grateful that you guys have subscribed. It really means a lot to me and I'm crying and I look crazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it's just unreal. And I didn't wear any makeup they got. <laughs> okay, let me focus. I'm truly grateful. Truly, truly grateful. Because I think without you guys, my channel wouldn't be possible. For those of you who have commented on my videos, who have liked my videos, who have subscribed to my channel, who watch my videos, who join my Facebook community, who have followed me on Instagram, who have hired me as their coach. I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart because, you know, 10,000 subscribers might not seem a lot to a lot of people, but it's 10,000 people, over 10,000, because at this point in time, we're at 10.5, means that there are people who genuinely want to hear what I have to say and teach. And I hope that I continue to create these videos for you guys and this channel is not just for me it's for you it's for you to build a business where you can create generational wealth you can have the freedom that you want you don't have to listen to anyone else and you can create that change because 10,000 of you means hopefully you'll teach something to 10 more thousand people and that's all I want that's my impact that's what I want to leave you know I hope to hit 100k I hope to hit 50k you know because to me those the only time I worry about vanity metrics is to know the impact I can have on more people so if you want to help me reach 50k before 2021 feel free to share my videos with people I'm not taking down any of the balloon garlands this is for you guys and I'll throw in some balloon garlands because I've expanded my creative skill and I want to teach you guys especially if you're doing a balloon business you know how to market and design so that way it really gives that what is it that expensive luxury you know feel so be on the lookout don't worry I got y'all I'm not getting rid of it a hundred percent so with that case we have a 10k giveaway and I'm going to wait until the end of the month. So March 1st, I will announce it on my Instagram of who the winner will be. That way you guys can watch. Um, if you're watching this video now, make sure to click the link down below. I am giving you guys a party in a box. So I'm going to include a balloon machine. So especially if you're running a balloon business, this is a great way for you to you know get started so I want to give you some balloon kits that I have in mind um, that I have in storage I also gonna give you everything I've done to run my business when it came to you know the balloons and the fishing wire the glue dots someone even suggested like a little apron to wear so that way you have all the things to put in and I said why not wherever life takes you I hope you continue to design your dreams into reality I hope you guys have a great day make sure to subscribe I'm going to try and be consistent <laughs> because I got a lot of videos in plan and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. I said I wasn't going to cry. I hate the way I look when I cry, but I'm still going to put it up. <laughs> don't judge me. Instead, just subscribe. I don't cry in every video, I promise.